this is an RCA Color Track TV. And this is just like Spatz Bears, only it's got a Delta Gun tube, and Spatz Bears has got an inline tube. Here's a close up of the control panel. The logos on this one and Spatz Bears are a little bit different, just the placement of the text color track and the RCA logo. RCA only used the Nipper logo in combination with the block letter RCA logo for a few years. I think they started using it in about 79 and then had to quit around 82 or so, or maybe 83. I think there was some, some dispute over the Victor Company of Japan about the trademark usage. I'm not exactly sure of the story, but they had to quit using it for some reason on electronics products, although they still used it on records. I think that between 1969 and 1979, they didn't use the Nipper logo at all. I don't think they really used it on anything, not even records. I'll come around and take a look at the, at the back here. I'll see if I can get the maker's data plate on it here, because I think it's got the date. Okay. That's kind of hard to see it. I wish this would focus here. Well, let me just see if I can see it with my eyes. Okay, manufactured May 1980. There it is. Model FER 475W. The W denotes a walnut finish, and I think the F prefix was always used for color uh, table models. Although the model convention, model name convention, may have changed a little bit over the years. I've got it hooked up to the Super Nintendo. Organist 1982 and I found a Super Nintendo and an NES at a garage sale, and it had a a pretty good amount of games for it. So it produces a real nice sharp picture with the Super NES. yoke may be a little bit tilted.